So over the lockdown we uh, ran a walk and talk session um, here in Central Park um, and that also led on to a compassionate cafe in partnership with St Luke's um, so that's really, uh, really a good session for people to come along to um, and they get to talk to other people who may be in a similar situation to themselves um, and especially at the compassionate cafe we have volunteers um, who are really friendly and welcoming um, and it's really good for them to come in and chat. Yeah, so the impact has been uh, really good um, and people have definitely uh, given good feedback to ourselves um, and especially with the walk and talk session, um, we've got Argyle fans who come on the walk and talk session and um, obviously they chat to other Argyle fans and it's, it's really good um, and as well as normal people who um, may not be so much involved with Argyle, um, may not support the actual football club um, but just come along for the mental health side of things. Um, so yeah, it's really important for us to uh, support people um, coming to our sessions um, and coming to the Walk and Talk in the Compassionate Cafe. Um, obviously over the lockdown um, and uh, COVID in general, it's, it's been at an all-time low in terms of mental health, um, people's anxiety and depression, um, have, and they've been really struggling, especially people who have been stuck inside and isolating and that as well. So um, in terms of the trust, it's, it's really good that we can support them and um, hopefully continue to do so. When, when there was a lockdown, it was shocking. I couldn't couldn't get my head around it at all. Just, you couldn't go out, you couldn't do nothing. And I found it extremely odd because I lost my wife um, only like uh, two and a half years ago, so the lockdown was quite, you know, um, rough on me, especially. Now I, I do two or three things. I go walking, and I go um, do a keep fit session on a Wednesday, which I find really good. and. Um, play bowls today as well and it's all to do with um, the Argyle hub really you know and Jamie used to come out and see me on a Wednesday and uh, yeah and we used to have a long chat about football and what because I follow Plymouth all man away all the away games as well um, but yeah it, it gives me a sense of sort of you know living really so uh, I put my heart and soul into it get the coach, the supporters coach, and yeah, I, I love it, meet another, nice people on there, it's good, yeah, you don't feel alone when you're sort of on these matches, it's good. That was great, look, getting out, meeting people, chatting to people that you wouldn't normally come across, so it's, no, it's, it's, it's a great activity for everyone to get involved in. I think it's, it's paramount that we do support people with mental health, I think that's such a big thing nowadays, and and has been forever, I think it's just obviously there's more awareness to do with that now. So yeah, look, we find that as a trust and as people that it's, it's, it's our job to help with that. And then so if we can help with people's mental health, I think it's, it's a really important part of our job that we can do that. And it's, uh, it's great with stuff like this that we did today that we can come out and meet people from different walks of life. And it's, it's been a really enjoyable, uh, enjoyable day of it.